Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We have a new update for you. Today, it's 2023.26.1. Now, there's a .1. There's also a .3 out there, and they're just bug fixes and stuff like that. This one in my car, it happens to be dot one but if you have a dot three which i see is floating out there that uh, they're also very similar before we go any further i just want to in case i lose it i just got the update i, I want to point out i don't know if you can see it in the bottom left here right above the uh, settings icon here on the bottom left there's a blue dot and then right here by the app icon for more apps there's another blue icon right there i'm not sure if, if the camera's picking it up but i wanted to just point that out because a lot of people have always compared Tesla to Apple. They're very Apple-esque in terms of their software, in terms of their design and, and, and a lot of even their, their habits and stuff like that. Now, in my opinion, this is also going the Apple way because it reminds me of dots, little, little blue dots when there's a new app or there's a new version of the app installed on your uh, home screen. If you have an Apple iPhone, it shows those little blue dots. Now, I, I'm assuming it doesn't say anything. We're in a documentation, but I'm assuming that's what these little blue dots mean. It means that there's something new there. So to it, it's alerting you and it's uh, telling you to click on it to see what the new thing is. So let's click on it quickly and see what the new updates are. Okay, the blue dot's still there. So pulling up the release notes right away, as we can see, it says... The dot one is minor fixes. The 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 main one is actually 2023.26. And uh, charge on solar. Now, I don't have solar panels. I wish I did. I, I'd love to get them. Uh, but charge on solar, basically charge your Tesla with solar energy if you have a power wall. And I'd love to get a power wall too. You can now choose how much charge comes from your solar versus the other sources like your hydro company itself. So you can set this up and it, it actually goes to your car. They've been talking about this for a while and they've finally brought it in the app and also to the car too. Now tap the charge on solar message and follow the instructions. It requires an updated power wall version and also the Tesla app. So just quickly going to the uh, charge screen here. I don't see it here to charge on solar, but I believe, I guess if you did have solar, it would show up here, but we don't have it, so it does. it's not showing up. Moving right along, Spotify refresh. Now, a lot of people have complained about Spotify and the layout and how it's very antiquated and very boring and stuff like that, and it doesn't do justice of what the actual Spotify app on a mobile device is really like. So Apple's, so, te <laughs> so Tesla, not Apple. See, they're so similar, I'm almost confusing them. So. Tesla has updated it. Now uh, you can play Spotify music, playlists, podcasts, and audiobooks with more familiar look and feel. So basically they're saying it looks more similar to uh, what you're accustomed to if you're using it on your uh, mobile device. So if we go into, and uh, maybe that's what the blue dots for is showing that Spotify has not changed. So if we go into here, yep, see? So Spotify's got a little blue dot now and the arcade, which I'll get to in a minute, uh, has, has updated. So that's, once again, very Apple-like, right? So if we click on Spotify, it brings up a new layout in the menu and it looks, yeah, it looks very, very different. And um, Road Rage, I'm not sure what Road Rage is but it was re recently played here. Uh, so you can look, you can browse and it brings up these uh, these boxy windows. Now I'm not sure if that's how it looked like before or on a mobile device because I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not fully familiar with uh, Spotify. Uh, my wife and kids use Spotify more than I do. I use Apple Music uh, when I am listening to music. Uh, your library, so this is uh, libraries and stuff like that uh, in there that's supposed to look more like it and then the home screen so you know what you tell me does this look more like the home screen uh, on your mobile device well that's what it's supposed to look like anyways so that's a uh, Spotify okay moving right along automatic headlights now this is great for when you're using your wipers uh, and a lot of I from what I understand a lot of states in different uh, places around the world have this mandated that when it's raining or bad weather you're supposed to by law have your uh, full headlights on so Tesla I'm surprised they haven't had it already but Tesla has figured this out and now your lights turn on automatically when your windshield wipers are activated and the headlights are set to auto in the controls lights and headlights so basically you should have these set in auto anyway so if you go down here to your lights you should have them on auto if you don't have your headlights on auto folks you should I mean to keep changing it manually is just a pain in the butt and with this car being so sophisticated it's it's pointless to that you wouldn't, in my opinion. Notice the little blue dot by display. We'll get to that in a minute too. So we go back down to the software. We continue where we left off. So auto headlights. So that's good. So when you're driving down the road and it starts raining and you have auto wipers on or you're an autopilot and the auto wipers come on on a bright sunny day like today, <laughs> uh, your headlights will come on. Let's, let's see if we can uh, mimic this just in park here in the parking lot. So my pin's on. 
I'm gonna put the car into drive. You notice the headlights aren't on, they're just on auto, so they're just probably the daytime runners. But if I was to now put the headlights on, um, the wipers on, see, now the headlights, the full headlight systems come on. Driving lights and also your full headlights. So they do come on. And if I was to take this off because my wipers are just going on a dry window, now they're off. Eventually, I'm not gonna wait around for it, but eventually they will turn off, I'm guessing after. 10 or 15 or 30 seconds. Okay, moving right along. Destination closing soon. So this is great for the navigation. I know uh, Google does it, so I guess Tesla is going towards the Google Maps type of thing. I mean, they're so close to Google and they use Google for a lot of things when it comes to maps that um, it's no surprise that they're doing this. Navigation now shows if your destination is closing soon or maybe closed by the time you arrive, which is great. So now it knows where you're going, which it already did. It knows what time you're, it's, you're gonna get there, which it already did. Now it just has to see what time the business is open until and, and it closes. And it's some easy code to write in there to say, you know what? it's gonna be closed or within 15 minutes it's closing soon. I know, like I said, Google Maps does this and now it's uh, trickled into the Tesla app. Okay, moving right along, Vampire Survivors game. We haven't had a new game and you know me, if you have watched these uh, software update releases, you'll know that I'm not a big gamer in, in the car at least, or even a big gamer in general. Vampire Survivor game. So this is new, this looks very 8-bitish, -bish, I guess you could say, uh, but basically it's a vampire survivor game. So if you wanted to go to here, arcade, because that's where the blue dot is now, right? See, now that I've uh, went into Spotify, the blue dot's gone away, because just like Apple, once you once you open the app, you must know that it's new, or your the car assumes or the code assumes that you know it's new. So if we go into the arcade, we will find vampire survivor game. I'm not gonna play it. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So moving right along. Now we have uh, speaking of games, we have Bluetooth game controls. So. I guess they always had it, but now this is new. Use Bluetooth controllers to play games in arcade. So I guess if I was to go to the Bluetooth setting, settings, which I don't want to because all my phones are there. Uh, camera view on Tesla app. Now this is cool. I've, I've played around with this before I actually got into the car because on the app you can actually see it. And I'll show you, I'll put up a, a thing here. But basically, now you can see multiple cameras at once when checking your vehicle surroundings. To start using this feature, go to your vehicle settings and controls, safety, view live camera via the test, test app. Now, once again, it requires the latest mobile app version, which is version 4.22.5. So if we were to look at it, you can see that all four cameras can now be viewed at once, even though I think they're reversed, they're like mirrored. And I don't know, that sort of throws me off, but they're mirrored, but you can still see it. And then in the top left-hand corner, that little blue square, if you click on that, then it goes away and you can just see a regular view of each individual camera. Now, hopefully they enhance this even more and show and give us the other views uh, that of the other cameras, like the wide angle, the B pillar cameras and stuff like that, that would be good to see. Okay, moving right along, warm display colors. Now you can set your touchscreen to automatically adjust to warmer colors at night. This is to uh, uh, combat the blue light fatigue and now it's warmer colors. So if you go to um, the controls and display, re reduce blue light. So if we go to controls right here, display, and that's where the blue dot is. You see that? Oh, display. Okay, and then once you do that, you can see it right here at the top. It says new, reduce blue light, automatically adjust to warmer colors at night. So if you click on that, now it's gonna give us some warmer colors. I'll keep that on and see how it is. Um, I have a feeling it'll, it may even match the other display that's right here. Okay, and uh, last but not least, other updates now. I'm glad, glad they put this in there, other updates. So recent favorites are now separated in tabs in the media player. So if we were to get rid of this and this the media player here, I guess the recent, okay, so recent is, yeah, it's now separated. It's recent, favorites, and then sources. So they've separated that, which is good to see. The sliders to adjust volume, temperature, and charge limits are now precise, more precise. So, which is good, because I didn't think they were too precise to begin with. So, oh, this one's good. I'm surprised they didn't make this a feature on itself. Sentry mode now records if someone is to open the door or the trunk when the vehicle is locked. So I always thought this did it anyways, but I guess it didn't. So now if someone comes up to your car, I mean, the motion itself should trigger and capture it. But in case it doesn't, if someone tries the handles or someone tries to open the, the trunk, I guess it's going to start recording then if it hadn't already. So it's good to know. Access the owner's manual and release notes more quickly in the new manual app. So there's a new manual app. So if you go here, uh, manual apps right here. And I guess you can access things a lot quicker. Okay, that's good to know. 
Uh, this is something I'm very not familiar with, folks. To be quite honest with you, I don't go through the manual too often. But new people, uh, if you're getting, if you're new to your Tesla, I highly suggest and really recommend you using the manual app to acquaint yourself better with the car. Okay, uh, automatic navigation shows more detail about your destination. Okay. Oh, and then there's Swiss and French uh, keyboard available. Anyways, folks, that's it. That is 2023.26.1, uh, or like I said, dot three if you have that. Just minor bug fixes. This is the, this is it. These are all the new changes. Of course, like Tesla always does, there'll be undocumented features in here that they're not documented that may be little hidden Easter eggs or stuff like that. I haven't found any yet because it's so brand new. If you have anything that you've seen that isn't documented, let me know down in the comments below and uh, maybe I'll make, if we have enough of them, maybe I'll make a video about hidden features in 2023.26. Anyways, thanks for watching folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.